Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Gibson, and today I want to talk to you about the rebuilder for peripheral neuropathy. On day 93, we talked about the rebuilder, and I gave the basic, basic information about it, but I want to go into a lot more depth and actually give you a better idea of how this rebuilder will help your peripheral neuropathy. So, to start, before I even show you the machine, let's go into the waveforms a little bit here. So, we go here, and we're actually going to start by kind of explaining the way this works. So, the nerves work as an electrical signal, and it's got a waveform. And so, if you were to look at it, the waveform basically, you've got two curves, a curve that's above the line and a curve that's below the line. They are actually equal. On this screen, of course, you can tell that it's not exactly 100% equal, just because... I mean, the way the way it works, we didn't we didn't make it completely to scale because we kind of wanted to sure what was going on. An ideal waveform. It's going to be a smooth curve up, flat across the top, smooth curve down, then a long flat reflex arc. The reason these have to be equal is because that allows the nerve to reset. So it goes up, comes down, resets back to zero, then comes back up again and starts over. Because of that, you actually have a period. A period of actually relief between it and that period of time is the way that the rebuilders built is to actually help you have that recovery have that opportunity for it to be to reset so we're going to go all the way in here give you a little bit better view of that you can actually look at it and you can actually see really well the curve up the flat top curve down and the long reflex recovery so that being said if we go to number two, what this, what the way Rebuilder does, it evaluates, it evaluates the unique wave form that's going on. And as you can see with this one, this is a abnormal peripheral waveform, which is typical of a peripheral neuropathy. And you've got on that left-hand side, you've got two little divots, little down areas where you're getting an abnormal signal. In this case, it's going to be numbness or tingling in this area. You see the top of it, it's not flat, it's kind of rough, and it's not the way it should be because the nerve is not functioning like it's supposed to. Remember, with peripheral neuropathy, the nerves are still working, they're just malfunctioning, not working like they're supposed to, they're not sending the signals to the brain the way they're supposed to, and so you're getting abnormal information. Touch of a sheet may cause pain, walking on, a, on the floor may cause pain, because this, or you may have the feeling of numbness. So on the left-hand side, you're seeing these numbness. This little bump on the right-hand side, that would be indication of pain. You can have multiple spots, or you can have one spot, or so forth. And you also see at the bottom, because of how it worked, you'll also have the reset being wrong, too. So you, you may get the point where it's a longer delay, which creates a slow signal, or you may get the fact where it recovers really quickly, which doesn't allow the nerve to fully recover. And so because of that, you're actually getting a a weaker signal the second time around or the third time around, those kind of things. So that's kind of the way it's going there. If you use a TENS unit to treat this, which is the, what we've used for many years and they're effective, um, you can see the signal is replaced. So these gray rectangles are actually the speed at which the signal comes from a typical TENS unit. The problem with this is it completely overpowers the normal wave and it just turns off the signal. So you're not getting a wave, a normal nerve waveform at all because of this. It's turning it off. It's overpowering it and causing it to not work in that way. So that's kind of the situation there. What does the rebuilder do? As opposed to a normal TENS unit, the rebuilder actually optimizes the signal. So if we take that same abnormal waveform where you're going up, where it should be a smooth up, and you see that it's got the divot down, divot down, rough top, and a prominence there. The rebuilder, through sequence of evaluating the, the waveform and then adjusting to it, does the exact opposite. So where there's a numbness sensation, it's actually creating a signal that compensates for it, that realigns it by overpowering that spot. So it's actually bringing the signal back up to normal. It does the same for the second one. You'll see that it flattens out the top. And as it comes down, it does the adjustment, it creates a divot where there's the prominence, again, to make it work. And then you'll see it also adjusts for the underneath, so it actually gives it time to truly recover. 
the advantage of the rebuilder doing this is the signal that gets to the brain is normal. So it's actually sending out to the brain normal, and so it's changing the numbness and tingling. It's changing the pain and actually allowing the nerves to quickly recover. Um, so say, okay, I have a TENS unit. Can I just use a TENS unit? The difference, the big difference between the rebuilder and the TENS unit is exactly what it does. So you can see the TENS unit really just stops pain. It doesn't, inter doesn't affect numbness. In fact, it can may increase your numbness, increase your tingling. Um, doesn't eliminate the burning signals. Doesn't So rebuilder is adjusting all these, including because it's helping the nerves to function more appropriately, it's going to help you with balance. It's going to imp improve the autonomic nervous system as well. So it actually helps with the lo local blood flow. Um, because it causes some muscle stimulation, it's going to help with the motor neuropathy and decreases mo muscle spasm, strengthens those muscles and so forth. Um, it causes the endorphin release that's typical for used by the body for pain, global pain relief. Um, and so by doing all this, it actually creates a pretty good amount of adjustment and help to the process. So let me now show you the machine. So here's the machine. My recommended, they, they, they sell two different machines. Well, three really, if you think of the uh, professional unit they sell, but they sell a couple different machines. Um, the one I recommend is 2407. The advantage is because you can treat all four extremities at the same time if you need to, as opposed to the lesser expensive one can only treat one at a time. So as you look at it, it's got a couple different things here. You've got the power actually is controlled by for each each individual lead. So you'd stick one lead here to do the lower extremity, one lead here to do the upper extremity. And as you turn it on, you can see that it's actually flashing. There's three different frequencies that can be used here. The 7.83 hertz, which is the ideal because that's how the normal nerve is functioning is where we will usually do most of the treatments when it comes to rebuilder. But you can also use this as a muscle stimulator or as a TENS unit if that's what you needed for certain symptoms or so forth. So the idea is we want to, we would set this up and what you'll do is they they come with these adhesive pads and what you're going to do is you take the one, one, one pad and you'll actually stick it right in the palm of the hand. On one hand, do the exact same thing on the other hand, and connect those to the same lead. This, you'll do the exact same thing for the foot, right behind the ball of foot, right behind where the, the bones are. You'll stick this again there and have this lead come through the toes. That kind of helps it stay in place. And same thing. You'll do one foot, other foot, and connect them to the same Lead because what's happening, the reason why you do that as opposed to say, I'm going to treat one side with one and the other side with the other, which is typically what you would do with a TENS unit. The reason you do this different is because it's evaluating. It's actually sending a signal from one foot to the other foot, one hand to the other hand, and it's actually evaluating how the body's interpreting that, how the body's receiving it, and all that kind of stuff. And so what it will allow you to do is make the appropriate adjustments. So it's a smart unit, and it's evaluating exactly what's going on and adjusting for it. So... I strongly recommend the rebuilder as something that should be considered for peripheral neuropathy. I still recommend that you be evaluated. So you find out if you have peripheral neuropathy and what type of peripheral neuropathy you have and if the rebuilder would be a good option for you. But if you have significant pain and significant problems, this is something that can be used. This is something that should be used to help you alleviate your symptoms and it will imp can improve your peripheral neuropathy and allow you to continue to function the way you really could. This is Dr. Grant Gibson, and this is your Neuropathy Nugget, day 104. I hope you have a good day. And if you need additional information, additional options, we also have the Gibson Method 90 Day Boot Camp, which allows you to do some of these. You'll see more of these videos. You'll see more options. We can go into a little bit more depth where you can actually talk to me directly and say, here's my symptoms, here's my problems, here's my labs. How does this affect me? And it gives you some options to do that. If you go to drbrantgibson.com slash neuropathy boot camp, you will actually be get, actually I think it's Dr. Gibson, drbrantgibson.com slash boot slash camp or boot dash camp. I think you can get there and you will actually be able to 
see exactly what's included in this program to allow you to truly manage your personal property. My goal, my goal for you is to give you the tools so that you can manage your peripheral neuropathy no matter what other doctors you're working with. Dr. Brandt Gibson, have a great rest of your day.